the whole thing about talking about, yeah, we reach our peak at two days, that isn't necessarily true. News research is coming out that's showing that might not be the case. And I've always thought that, you know, just because two days is where it elevates to about 400% doesn't mean it's continuing, uh, it's not continuing after that. <music> Hey, what's up fasters? Dr. Legrand here, here for another fasting video. And today we're gonna to talk about when does autophagy reach its peak? So if you are new to the term autophagy or people who like to say autophagy, you know, tomato, tomato, whatever, you know, I've seen it described as just autophagy. So if you're not familiar with that term, what autophagy is is basically a way for the body to start eating away a lot of dead unnecessary cells as we age, pretty much getting rust out of our system. And it can be enhanced during a fasting process. So when we are in a fasted state, it can increase to an exponential 400% during a fasted period. Now people use this in all different kinds of ways. They can either do it through dry fasting, water fasting, intermittent fasting. Now, as far as how long it does take for to reach autophagy, I have talked about that before and I will leave a link right above here that you could check that out of how long it does take to reach autophagy. Now, as far as when does autophagy reach its peak, it does depend on the person. The biggest thing that we have to look at as far as how long or when does, you know, you reach your peak in autophagy is looking at your previous diet of how you've been eating beforehand. Because you gotta remember with autophagy, it has to do with mTOR and MPK. Those two types of things are the opposites, just like with anything in our body chemistry. When mTOR is activated, it's usually a type of protein that senses different nutrients in the body. So if there senses any kind of nutrients, it will shut off autophagy, okay? And so AMPK is more of a catabolic you know, system where it basically will activate autophagy when there is no sense of nutrients. And so the body is gonna start consuming unnecessary proteins that it will break down to utilize for energy or other dying cells to get rid of those cells that we don't want lingering into in our body. Now I will say before I dive into the science, cause I always try to find as much research as I can on these topics is it is very still very new at trying to find things on autophagy and fasting, dry fasting. You know, research is being done more and more, but it is very limited, especially on this topic. But the one study that I did find on this topic of, uh, you know, when does autophagy reach its peak, it was um, published in the Journal of Autophagy. And they looked at calorie restriction in mice and seeing how long does it take, also when does autophagy reach its peak. So markers show that during a 24 cycle there was levels of autophagy but were not very significant to even show any benefit in the body during just a 24 hour fast. But after a 48 hour fast period, there was a significant increase of autophagy levels. But the very interesting thing, now I know a lot of things have been said in the past that autophagy reaches its peak after two days of fasting. I know Jason Fung, Dr. Jason Fung has said this. Uh, there's been a lot of other YouTubers that uh, talk about fasting. I've even said it before in my videos that Typically, when we reach our peak, it's about two days of fasting. But you gotta understand, science is always changing, and new research is always being shown that we might, what we've said in the, before in the past, might always be in the case when we find new evidence. And what they found here is, yes, even though it reached um, a very high level of autophagy after 48 hours of fasting, it showed it wasn't in the entire body. So what they did find is autophagy was not even activated in the brain yet at all within these mice. So how long does it take to reach autophagy just in the brain? They didn't go into detail about that. So it's still very unknown of when uh, autophagy is even activated in the brain. And that is also very important because there's so many benefits when it comes to activating autophagy for the brain 
for helping things such as Alzheimer's, Huntington's disease, Parkinson's, because this is where I think prolonged fasting does shine, uh, where autophagy can be activated further for different parts of the brain by doing a three plus day fast or seven day fast is where you can finally start activating autophagy within different parts of our body. So the whole thing about talking about, yeah, we reach our peak at two days, that isn't necessarily true. News research is coming out that's showing that might not be the case. And I've always thought that, you know, just because two days is where it elevates to about 400% doesn't mean it's continuing, uh, it's not continuing after that. Top levels are still elevated. It's just trying to find out what your body type is, what you've been doing beforehand, what, uh, how big your body mass index is, looking at all these different avenues that can show how long it does take you to reach autophagy, as well as how long you should stay in autophagy. Okay, so really trying to understand those aspects there's still a lot we haven't known. There's still a lot we don't know, but I wanted to kind of share this research or a little article with you guys because I found it very interesting of, yeah, sure, Tafchi can reach at a higher peak level at 48 hours, but there's still the unknown of that it doesn't reach autophagy in every part of the body, especially the brain, even after 48 hours. So I'm curious what you guys think. Go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. As always, if you have not subscribed to our channel and want to know more about fasting tips and tricks and all about fasting science, go ahead and click on the subscribe button because we will be talking about how to measure autophagy in our next video. And then if you want to learn about how long it does take to reach autophagy, there's a video right here and then also a playlist on autophagy right here. So until next time, this is Dr. Grant signing out, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.